Hey guys, I'm Allie with Allie Artifacts. Welcome to my channel and welcome if you've never been here before, it, well, if you have, <laughs> um, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Um, I am, um, huh, I'm having a day. I'm trying to get all this stuff together, this this craft fair, and it's, um, it's oh my goodness, it's just a lot. And you know, it's a lot of work. Anytime you do a craft fair, um, you know, you got to make the stuff and then you got to tag the stuff and keep track of the stuff and price the stuff and make your little signs and do all those things. So that's kind of what I'm working on today. Um, and I do have a couple of things that I was going to um, share with you, which I will, I'll do that first and then I'll, um, I'll get into the, the yarny stuff. So, well, I guess this is yarny stuff, but you know, the yarny stuff you came for, the purple lamp stuff. <laughs> um, so anyway, just, a, just a couple of, you know, things that, that I've been, I've been working on just examples of what I've been doing. Um, so, you know, just going to grab the first thing that, that is here. I'm, you know, doing these little guys, these little squiddy guys. I guess they're called squiddies, octopi. I don't know what they're called. But I'm just kind of doing these little guys and just, um, I, you know, I didn't do like faces on mine. And it was just sort of a design choice. So I just kind of <laughs> design choice. <laughs> um, But, it, you know, I just, I don't know. I just wasn't, I just didn't want to. But I think I will for, you know, future ones. I think too, um when I was first starting to make them, I was really nervous about, excuse me, um, about the eyes coming out. And I know they're safety eyes and everything, but I was really nervous about that and just kind of had a moment of that. And it was like, I don't know. So I just kind of, you know, didn't do that. And I thought, well, it's kind of cool to just like, you know, it's just an octopi. I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to talk too much about that. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. Um, I'm just making, <laughs> I'm making a few of these little, you know, scrubbies. Um, and I feel like this is, the Hobby Lobby, um, it's like scrub yarn, but it's not the scrubby yarn. If you know what I'm talking about, it's just kind of like, you know, kind of like a, almost like a plasticky kind of a feel, but it works really good for, um, you know, pots and pans and, and stuff like that. Um, you know, the ubiquitous hair, hair scrunchy thingy. Um, I'm making, a, you know, some of those. This is like a velvety, it's probably like Bernat velvet or whatever. Um, I did that. Um, so I've got a couple of hats that I made. Um, these, I just kind of just wung it, winged it, <laughs> what, what, the, what the past tense of wing is. Um, but it's just, um, Hobby Lobby. Um, oh, I'm not going to remember. Oh, Citrus Punch. I remember because I made pumpkins out of it. <laughs> um, but it's Hobby Lobby and I just really, really like it. I just kind of did a little bit of, you know, some, whatever that is. It's probably like back, back loop only, but third loop, you know, whatever. Anyway, that makes the little chain thing here. Um, I did a little bit of that and just, you know, like I said, just winging it on that. Um, and, and I wanted it bigger because I, you know, so a lot of people like slouch and, um, and I do have some that are not the bigger size or whatever, but some people like slouch and they like, you know, maybe they have bigger hair or whatever. And, you know, hats aren't always made for that. So I wanted to make some of those for that. Um, and then this one is also a Hobby Lobby colorway. I don't remember the name of it. Not my vibe, but I know it's other people's vibes. <laughs> other people's vibe. I know. Um, but yeah, kind of same thing. Just kind of wung it and <laughs> winged it. And then, uh, you know, did a little kind of detail thing. Is that uneven? No. Okay, we're good. Um, anyway, yeah, so just kind of did that and front post, back post kind of thing on the bottom. Um, and yeah, so that's that hat. Also, like this one is super, super roomy, super slouch. So um, that. Um, this one is probably my favorite hat that I have made of all time. Not for the ease of doing it. Because for me, it was it was a little, 
it was it was challenging. We'll we'll call it that. It was challenging. Um, and it was it was a bag a day pattern. And if I if I remember to put it in here, I will put the pattern in here. It was, I want to say, something like triumphant or does that sound right? I don't know. But I love I I really like the pattern. And she had done it with like I think it was like a red kind of a color. But I found another Hobby Lobby colorway. And again, I'll put it in the description because I can't I can't remember this um this the name of this colorway, but it turned out so cool. Let me just show you this hat. La, 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 la. Look at it from here. Isn't that cool how that turned out? Oh my gosh, I just I love that. I love it. And it had nothing to do with me. It was just how the colorway ran. And I just kind of took some um, purple. This might even just be Red Heart or something, just purple at the bottom. I just really, really like it. I really like the colorway and I love what it did down this way here too. I love it. So anyway, so that is that hat. And oh, okay. So I made, um, and you know, these are just examples of what I have. I have some more stuff. I, I'm realizing I don't have a ton <laughs> and I've been working crazy trying to get stuff done. But anyway, um, this is, um, if you remember, Premier had those spools, um, and there were, you know, all kinds of different, you know, color, I guess color, not color ways, but, um, color groups. I don't know. Like they had one that was yellow, but it was like light yellow and medium yellow and sort of a marled yellow, you know, kind of thing. Um, this one is the purple one and I made a scarf out of... Okay, you can't see any of that. Um, I made a scarf out of the, the, you know, each each color stripe or whatever within the spool is a section. So it is a pretty good sized scarf for sure. <laughs> and I think I saw an end popping out here somewhere. Yeah, I see something. Yep, I'll fix that. Um, Anyway, so yeah, so I did that. And it's actually a really nice, like, soft yarn. I was kind of sad that they got rid of it. Um, I don't know why they did. I Maybe they weren't selling enough, but I got them when they were, like, super on sale because they were going out the door. Um, so they, that I, I have that. Um, and then I did um, just a couple of baby blankets. This is the only one I did in this particular pattern. And again, probably a bag-a-day pattern, but I don't remember. Um, it's this little guy and what I, I, I really love the pattern on this, it, you know, just kind of like, I don't remember what this thing is called and that terrible, um, you know, you make something and you don't write it down and I don't write things down. Um, but I love that I use the yarn that I got from Lion Brand mystery boxes. I, I had gotten some, some Lion Brand mystery boxes, like, I think it was like the first mystery box I ever got. And there were, I don't know, three of these skeins. And it was um, basic stitch, I think, the non-pilling. And it was, and I don't know the colorway, but it's like this kind of, it's Bridget pink. It's <laughs> Bridget, if you're watching, this is your pink. <laughs> I mean, maybe even more so in person. It's it's your pink for sure. Um, and Bridget is, is Queen's Crafts by Bridget. So go check out her channel. Anyway, um, yeah, so that so that was really cool that I got mystery box yarn and could make something, you know, from that, that it was a complete item, you know, because sometimes you get mystery box yarn and it's like one skein of this or, you know, whatever. And it's like, okay, I don't know what I'm going to mix this with. Anyway, so that that's all that stuff. Um, these last two things are just um, sort of more Christmassy related. Um, this is Brianna K. Um, it's her, not her, actually, it's not her pattern. It's her idea. I just kind of changed it because I wasn't into doing all the puff stitches and I don't know. There was something about the pattern that I couldn't I couldn't figure out and I was like, I'm so in a rush. I just need to get these things done for the for the crafter. But I just went to okay, so first of all, this is it. It's an ornament. It's a big ornament. Um, but I just kind of did a half double crochet and then did, you know, back loop only, and then another row half double crochet, and then back loop only. And it just kind of, you know, did one of these little kind of braidy patterns. Um, but it's, I just went to Dollar Tree and got, um, you know, just like really large ornaments. And they weren't terrible looking, covered in glitter. Everything is covered in glitter, even though it's not a glitter item. <laughs> but, um, you know, cleaned it off real good. <laughs> 
and and just use that and just kind of like you know racked it around and cinched it at the top and you know um so and well i guess at the bottom too but yeah it's a it's a cool idea it's a cool idea um so i've got a, a few of those in different colors and stuff and then this one this was my oh there's something on it okay um this was my this is what i've been working on um for the past probably day or two for sure um okay let me just show it to you yeah so it's a Christmas stocking <laughs> and I, um, this is really, this is the first year that I learned how to do these things. And it was, um, super great tutorial Rocco babies crochet, I think is what it's called. And it's just, it's like easy Christmas stocking. Um, you'll see it. It's got like, um, I'll, I'll do the link at below. Um, but it's, you know, a red and a green Christmas stocking with the uh, kind of cream color on the top. I just chose to do kind of neutral. And another, um, see the sparkle? This is another um, mystery box thing. This is the Mary Maxim Glimmer yarn. Um, I don't know the colorway, but it's like the the most neutral one they have. I guess, you know, um, kind of tan kind of color, whatever. Um, but I just thought that was kind of cool. And yeah, so it's got a little hook and everything. I'm just, I'm excited. <laughs> so I made um, I made a couple of those. So that's what I'm kind of doing. Um, I will try to get some footage of the craft fair. Um, it's tomorrow night on the 6th. Um, so I'll try to get some footage of it and stuff. What I think I'm going to do, just heads up, is because tomorrow's going to be such a busy day and the craft fair and all that, um, and I think my daughter's going to be here too, um, we're, I'm probably going to do a double on Thursday um, so that we have time to kind of pull things together and do the editing and, you know, uh, that type of thing. So, um, but yeah, I, I will uh, show you some of the highlights. I don't know how much I'll be allowed to film in there. I, I guess she can do that. I don't know, I don't, whatever, but, uh, but I'll find out. Um, so, okay, this is the moment that everyone has been waiting for. I know I have been. I just, I, and, and let me just tell you, the comments that you guys have been leaving have been so lovely. I mean, my goodness, there's so many lovely people in this community. And, and I'm I'm so grateful. Like, I'm so grateful. Like, you guys are awesome. You really are awesome. So thank you for the lovely comments. Um, And everybody is blown away by the yarn. And so Carla, if you're watching, everyone's blown away. <laughs> These are such gorgeous colorways that you're, you're that you put into this. It's amazing. So um, anyway, we're going to do day four, even though this is day five, we're doing day four, if you know how this goes. Um, okay, so let's do that. And it is, oh, the, okay, I had, <laughs> it takes me a second to read the Elven script. <laughs> okay, so you see that in the forging of, wait, Andoral, and Andoral, I don't remember how it's pronounced, Andoral, I think, the forging of Andoral. <gasps> oh, is that Okay, um, are you ready? I'm excited. Hi. I don't want, I'm going to show you too in the box. It's just like, I love, I just, I don't know. It's just like this little bunch of loveliness. Isn't that, and again, it's coming up a little bit more bright. You know, I'm trying to use natural light and it's being weird. Um, Gosh, this is gorgeous. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is so pretty. Can you see all that? Super, super lovely. Oh, my heavens. Yeah. Oh, all the colors. Ah, they're speckling. Oh, see this? This is beautiful. Gonna do snark. <laughs> I know. I know, like people who aren't yarny people think it's weird. And even yarny people think it's weird. But I love it. I love it. I love how it smells. Um, because there's I, I feel like different dyers have like their own unique scent of their, you know, of their wools and stuff. And this is just this is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Okay. So I'm I'm super excited. I'm super excited because as I'm, you know, getting each one and you know, like the project that I'm hoping to do. And honestly, after this craft fair, I think I can dive into it a little bit more, even though I've got some Christmas things, you know, working on. But, um, and I will definitely keep you posted on that for sure. 
But um, anyway, thank you so much for stopping in. This is so much fun. I'm, I'm loving this. Are you guys loving this? Some people are saying that they are, and I appreciate that so much. If you are, leave a comment and just say, give me a thumbs up. Give me something. Well, definitely thumbs up the video, but <laughs> but give me a thumbs up or something. And and also, I, I never say this, but, you know, don't forget to subscribe too and hit the notification button and, you know, do all that stuff. I think I said it in the first one. I haven't been saying it. And I just want to remind you guys, you know, that if you like this content and you want to keep, you know, seeing it, um, yeah, definitely, definitely subscribe. I would love to have you in my community. All right. Thank you so much, guys. God bless you. I will see you around the tube and see you probably Thursday for days six and seven. I think that's how it's going to work. All right. All right. Thanks. Take care. Bye.